back now on this special edition of Try Today with a very special guest, the Honorable Pat McCrory, Governor of North Carolina. Governor, let's talk about um, same-sex marriage as it relates to some of the bills that have been floating around, the Supreme Court decision that was made. Um, in light of the fact that the Supreme Court now says, hey, same-sex marriage, legal across the nation, and yet, in all of its lack of wisdom, a lot of the folks in the General Assembly passed this ridiculously stupid bill. How do you feel about this? Yeah, I, don't, I don't have any opinion. <laughs> um, uh, to have uh, magistrates and register of deed be able to opt out for religious reasons, say, oh, well, I, I don't believe in same-sex marriage, I'm not going to do my job. And you, you veto that, and they overrode it. I mean, I know you said you were disappointed about that. So well, I'm disappointed, not because of, I actually agree with them. I'm a conservative when it comes to uh, marriage between a man and a woman, at least now I guess that's conservative. It didn't used to be just three years ago when President Obama agreed with that. But, right. But I do believe this, that if uh, when I, I was sworn to uphold the Constitution and laws of North Carolina and the United States of America, and so is every one of the mayors, so is every one of the troopers, so are police officers. You, I put my left hand on my family Bible and raised my right hand and that was to uphold the Constitution. And the Constitution allows the legislature, the executive branch, and the judicial branch to participate in the system. And if they make a ruling, I have to follow it, regardless of whether I agree with it or not. No, I understand. And you've been very and clear on this show And I don't think a magistrate before. should be exempt from that. And because if, if a magistrate's exempt from that, where's the slippery slope where I might have a highway trooper go, I disagree with something because of my religious beliefs or any other reasons, and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go... Sorry. Absolutely. You, you go find another job. Is this going to be overturned in light of what's been happening? I'm sure it'll be challenged. I'm and, sure it'll be challenged. Because if not... They had a tough time overturning it, and, and there was a lot of arm twists and overturn. I think a lot of people voted for it, didn't yeah, I'm agreed getting, with me. Let, let me. let me pin you down on something here, because this made me angry. Now, if my math is correct, you, you did the veto, and they tried the override, and they the... They didn't have the votes for over a week. Right. And all of a sudden, the, the override vote gets scheduled for the time when seven, I think by my calculation, seven of your supporters were absent. Now, did the speaker purposely do that so that these guys wouldn't be there? Or was there something going on? Was there arm twisting to say, look, if you want to get your stuff heard here from now on, you, you can't vote with the governor on this? Have I, you got I don't know the details, but uh, there's no doubt they had difficulty getting the votes. And uh, they got the votes by some people being absent and uh, other people changing their mind. Yeah, some other people ought to be absent from there. Now, the, um, wouldn't, but going back to this new law, if it stands, if it's not overturned, wouldn't it also open up a can of worms for magistrates, register of deeds, and others uh, to say, well, um, you know, my religious beliefs say that uh, if you're black and you're white, you shouldn't marry. I'm going to, you know. Or if it. we have a register of deeds sometime in the future and could be here in Winston-Salem, who's a Muslim, who says, I'm not going to do certain things because of my Muslim faith. So we're not just talking about the Christian faith. It's kind of ironic. Uh, Jesse Helms uh, was the only Republican, in fact, one of only three senators who voted against the Religious Freedom Act. Most people don't realize that. That's interesting. Well, he did it because he said, be careful what you ask for, because we're not just talking about the Christian faith, and I happen to be a very strong Christian. Well, we're talking about all faiths. And if you have a job, and you swore to the oath of the Constitution, you ought to follow it. And if you so vehemently disagree with it because of whatever beliefs, including religious beliefs, then you ought to quit your job. Yeah. And, and by the way, one magistrate quit their job. And I admire that person. If that's what they had to do, go get another job. But uh, I, I happen to disagree now with my legislatures on that. And I told you when I came to Raleigh, if I disagree with something, I'll state the disagreement. And that's surprising some people. You're getting heat from people in the Tea Party, people on the right. Actually, not the Tea Party, because Tea Party is more of economic. But some people, I got hit by some of my more um, um, religious right when, in fact, I think I swore on my family Bible. And I would have broke the oath that I put on the Bible that I'd uphold the Constitution. I had to instruct people. You shouldn't have sworn in public. That was the. <laughs> I've been sworn at. In public. Yeah, I know you have. I, that's a, I, look. I want to take a break and cut this segment short because I want to add some time to the next one. And when we come back from the break, I want to ask you about your uh, bond proposal and why we all need the right to be able to vote for this and have it on the ballot, and because uh, it's important. And I want to spend some time on that. So we'll be right back after this. 